Apple Valley News now live at 6 with breaking news tonight as a student at Southridge High School is arrested for having an explosive device. I'm Austin Reed live at the school tonight with the latest details coming up. And breezy conditions with gray skies all around the region. The latest developments just ahead in my first alert weather forecast. This is Emily Goodell with Apple Valley News Now. The U.S. Postal Service has a 10 year plan to improve mail delivery across the country. Right now they're looking at the Yakima Post Office, but county commissioners say they're deeply concerned about proposed changes. That's coming up. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. I'm Alyssa Warner. We begin with breaking news tonight. Police are investigating after getting reports of a Southridge High School student who had access to an explosive device. That student has now been arrested. Apple Valley News Now's Austin Reed joins us live in Kennewick. What have we learned so far, Austin? Well, good Wednesday evening, Alyssa. Yeah, this is the talk of Southridge High School from students to parents and staff, even neighbors in this direct area. The good news is nobody was hurt because police were able to step in very quickly. Apple Valley News Now was first to alert you to this breaking news tonight on our social media, on our app and on our website. We also have exclusive video of a search warrant effort just about two miles away from here. Let's go and take a look at that video. According to Kennewick PD, the school resource officer at Southridge said a concerned student reported another student may have access to an explosive device and one 17 year old boy was actually arrested at his home today late this afternoon on suspicion of possession of an explosive device. This is video of the teen's home on the 1400 block of South Harrison Street in Kennewick. The school resource officer and Southridge staff began working to make sure the campus was clear and investigators with Kennewick PD went to the school to talk with that student today. Authorities then called the Richland Police Bomb Squad and a warrant was secured for the student's home on Harrison. Authorities say an explosive device was indeed found and bomb technicians were able to secure it. The 17 year old was arrested and tonight he is sitting at the Benton Franklin Juvenile Detention Center. There was no lockdown or lockout today. And again, at this hour, no danger to anybody here at Southridge High School. But this is also another good example of if you see something, say something. That's the latest live from Kennewick tonight. It's Austin Reed, Apple Valley News Now. Thanks, Austin. Now let's talk about the weather. We saw some warmer temperatures today, but Stacy, you're telling us things are changing fast out there. That's right. We had the warm temperatures, but we had the wind, so you probably didn't notice that it was 60 degrees today. We do have a wind advisory in place, 25 to 35 miles sustained winds, gusts up to 55 through the Columbia Basin, Yakima Valley, winds up to 60 miles an hour along the foothills of the Blues. That will be in place till tomorrow morning at 7, but those winds aren't going to disappear anytime soon. These are sustained winds right now in the Tri-Cities, Walla Walla and Hanford. Uh, Yakima, we were seeing gusts there this afternoon up to 60 miles an hour and add to that some winter storm warnings for our mountains. We're talking another 6 to 12 inches in the blues above 4,000 feet with 60 mile an hour winds, 2 to 4 feet still to come. Cascade Mountain crests and east slopes. We're talking uh, quite a bit of snow and quite a bit of wind there making travel impossible. But let's shift gears and talk about that beautiful sunrise. It was a little bit overcast today. We saw the cloudy clouds moving through. It pretty much looked like this all day long that layer of clouds but you could see a few sun breaks here and there and take a look right now at our legends casino sky cam 59 degrees still looks the same as it did this morning uh, 23 mile an hour winds right now in the tri cities here's what's ahead wet windy tonight showers and breezy conditions heavy mountain snow through thursday night plus we could see a wintry mix as a cold front moves into our area beginning tonight through uh, the weekend i'll get to all the details coming up in my first alert weather forecast Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. A financial analysis of Franklin County shows that it's facing a deficit of millions of dollars as it heads into the 2025 fiscal year. Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma is in Pasco tonight. Monique, you have information on what the county is hoping to do to try to get itself back on track. Yes, hi Alyssa. It is windier, so you could probably see my hair getting all over my face and it's colder. I added a scarf to my wardrobe. 
Well, today I spoke to County Administrator Mike Gonzalez. He says, although it may be hard to hear about the three to seven million dollar deficit, he says he wants people to know that they're working on a plan to find a solution and get this under control. Franklin County hired a company out of Seattle to do a financial analysis of the government agency. And County Administrator Mike Gonzalez says that's how it was discovered come the year 2025. Franklin County is looking at a possible three to seven million dollar deficit and this is due to several factors. The cost of doing business has just skyrocketed and the rate that we can take in taxes and generate revenue is not keeping pace with that and then when you factor in the cost of health insurance, the cost of fuel for our, our trucks, uh, for public works, the cost of fuel for our deputies, uh, what it costs to provide health insurance, all these type of factors have sort of the rubber has met the road and now here we are and we've really got to figure out what what we've got to do next to, to make ourselves whole. But when it comes to figuring out how to make themselves whole, Gonzalez says the last thing he wants to do is make taxpayers foot the bill, but he also didn't rule it out. We don't want to raise taxes, so at this point, uh, we don't plan to do a levy lid lift or ask the voters to be taxed more. He says there are other things he wants the county to consider first. We own properties throughout the county. Um, obviously, you'd, you'd want to sell the ones that are more coveted. Um, so right now what we're doing is going through the process of, of seeing what we own, seeing what kind of value that they have, and it's, it's basically supply and demand. He says one big challenge the county is facing is something not in their control. Unfunded mandates from the state are something that really hit us hard. So uh, basically all an unfunded mandate is is a rule from the state that says you have to do this. The problem being is they don't really give you a way to pay for it. They just say you got to do this. Despite the work ahead of him, Gonzalez says he is glad they did the analysis because it gives him a roadmap on where to guide the county. It really was the first time we looked at ourselves and we looked at some of the fundamentals that we're doing and, and how we're working. We recognized that we didn't have any, we had two financial policies. Um, so those, that's something that I plan to work on this year is really having more financial policies. Gonzalez also says the county is working on talking to the state to see what help they can offer. He also says that the consulting company already offered more than a dozen recommendations that they can do right now, including a more affordable health care package and places that can generate more revenue. Reporting in Pasco, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. Thanks, Monique. Today, state lawmakers held hearings on two initiatives to the legislature. So these are basically proposals that enough people signed on to to merit attention from the state. One of those would establish a parent's bill of rights. Advocates say most of these rights are already law, but this initiative would put them all in one place. Things like getting your child's records if you ask for them, being notified if your child is being offered non-emergency medical services, and being notified and given the opportunity to opt out if your child is likely to be asked questions about things like religion, politics, mental health, or sexual experiences or attractions. This is for children up to 18 years old. Now, while thousands of people signed in to show their support for the initiative, others raised questions about how this would impact children and teens in less than ideal family situations. This initiative may interfere with the young people's needs in connecting to supportive peer identity groups and critical services. Youth who need support outside of the home may stop confiding in and asking school staff for help fearing a report back and retaliation at home. I speak to parents all over the state, and time after time I have heard stories of their parental rights being uh, infringed upon. It is evident that we need this law to reinforce the rights of parents. Now you can find a link to the complete initiative over on our website. If lawmakers decide not to approve this proposal, it'll go on the ballot for a statewide vote in the general election coming up this fall. The city of Richland is considering a change to height limits for buildings along the Columbia River. That proposal would change the maximum building height from 35 to 85 feet in a total of three waterfront zones. The hope is to bring new development from high-rise apartment buildings to retail and recreational centers. 
not everyone is on board with the plan. Apple Valley News Now's Austin Reed is digging deeper into that issue new tonight. We'll start with Mayor Richardson. Nay. Councilmember Jones? No. Councilmember Luxon? Nay. Councilmember Meyer? Nay. Councilmember Van Dyke? Nay. Councilmember Witten? Nay. Well, that was a good experiment. <laughs> In focus during last week's city council meeting, does it make sense to build up right along here? I can understand that um, planning commission didn't want to see a vast parking lot in this situation, but I think we have a unique opportunity here. After about an hour of deliberations and concern from residents, the issue is now on hold. Meet Francesca Meyer. She's on the planning commission for the city, but also a local resident with her own views and opinions on the issue. Yeah, so the planning commission is an advisory board to the city, and our remit is three things, one of which is um, how to implement the comprehensive plan, which sets the 10-year vision for the city. And um, we also provide advice to council on like changes to city code and things like that. And Meyer even spoke out at last week's meeting to the council. You need 50 spaces for the restaurant, one per hundred square foot in the finished floor area. You need 50 spaces for the five floors of residential, assuming a thousand square foot average and a condo. If it were apartments, it would be 25. A parking code is arbitrary, right? But 100 parking spaces at about 250 square foot per space, including the circulating area, makes 25,000 square feet. That's more than half the lot. So as the Planning Commission, our remit is to recommend to you how to implement a comprehensive plan, and that puts us in conflict with economic development. Meanwhile, Councilmember Kurt Meyer suggested just dropping the current parking regulations. But given the fact that this is a specific issue in a specific zone, and you know, we've got these 11 plats that are affected by it and nothing else, um, it should be pretty simple and straightforward to just drop parking minimums from the waterfront zone. And what about the environmental impact? I reached out to two different environmental groups for comment. Riverkeeper did not return my calls or emails, but the Washington Department of Ecology did get back to me. Communications manager Emily Tasaka said, quote, WDE is reviewing the city's proposed changes to its existing shoreline regulations. Meanwhile, Meyer says that she is thankful the ordinance did not pass, at least yet. And so, um, a tall building on its own, it has impacts, it has impacts to birds, it has impacts of casting shadows and things like that. All things that we discussed as a board and are on the record, you can go back and watch the video. Um, but there are also benefits, right, because density, it's much more cost effective for a city to provide services in a, in a more dense area. The city is now planning for a number of upcoming workshops to focus on the parking codes. As far as the parking code has been a very big issue for the city for a very long time, and it does not just affect businesses, it affects people who are renovating their houses. On your side in Richland, Austin Reed, Apple Valley News Now. now the mayor did tell us she's hopeful that the city will come up with a solution so that the ordinance can pass. She says developers are already fighting to build. Now, from development to beautifying the Richland community, we are talking about tens of thousands of dollars in grants available to help you get outdoors and make your parks and rec dreams a reality. And Stacey Lee is tracking some windy conditions this evening. Your first alert forecast next on Apple Valley News Now at 6. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. When it comes to remodeling your bath, there's fact and there's fiction. Fiction, some bath remodels just cover up water damage. Fact, bath fitter inspects and cleans your current tub area and we make any necessary repairs before installing our product for a watertight fit. Bath fitter installations are built to last with a lifetime warranty to fit your expectations. Get the bath that fits you. Bath fitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. 
the Y card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DOE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. I was stuck. Unresolved depression symptoms were in my way. I needed more for my antidepressant. Raylar helped give it a lift. Adding Raylar to an antidepressant is clinically proven to help relieve overall depression symptoms better than an antidepressant alone. And in Raylar clinical studies, most saw no substantial impact on weight. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke, report unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, as these may be life-threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. High blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, weight gain, and high cholesterol may occur. Movement dysfunction and restlessness are common side effects. Stomach and sleep issues, dizziness, increased appetite, and fatigue are also common. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. I didn't have to change my treatment. I just gave it a lift. Ask about Valar and learn how AbbVie can help you save. Want luxury hair repair that doesn't cost $50? Pantene's Pro Vitamin Formula repairs hair as well as the leading luxury bonding treatment for softness and resilience without the price tag. If you know, you know it's Pantene. Sometimes Jonah wrestles with falling asleep, so he takes ZQuil, the world's number one sleep aid brand, and wakes up feeling like himself. Get the rest to be your best with non habit forming ZQuil. Better days start with ZQuil nights. With Dish, get the same TV bill every month for two years. Hello? Oh my God, I think someone's coming. No price hikes, no surprises. Because surprising TV shows are great. Surprising TV bills, not great. Let's get you some fresh water. The two-year TV price guarantee from Dish. Tuned in to you. Jessica Jalore, Good Morning Northwest. Weekday mornings from 5 to 7. Welcome back. The City of Richland's Parks and Rec Commission is looking to dish out $40,000 from the Park Reserve Fund. The matching grant funds are available for eligible applicants who are interested in making capital improvements to city parks, trails, open space, or recreational facilities. So here's the fine print. Your proposed project has to be located on city-owned parks or rec property, has to be in conformance with park master plans as well. This is open to service and civic groups, athletic organizations, even private individuals and neighborhood park user groups, and of course, nonprofits. The recreation manager with the city of Richland says it's important to get your ideas in front of the city staff early on. There's an opportunity for a uh, pre-application meeting, and, and that's really important too, because that's where you can vet your ideas, get an idea of what, you're, what you need to do, what boxes still you need to check um, and get prepared to put in your application and that pre-application meeting is actually required. Now there is a mandatory meeting tomorrow for this project grant fund for anybody who wants to get involved. Application deadline is coming up in the middle of March and the mandatory presentation will be April 11th. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. And this is what's happening in, on our first alert radar, Alyssa commented. That's a lot of precipitation, and it is. We're in the middle of it, though, and staying dry. But uh, most of the rain showers are going to transition to snow showers overnight. That's what's happening in the Cascade Mountains. Let's take a peek down at the Blue Mountains tonight, moving through Walla Walla. We're going to start to see all of these showers shift into snow showers as the cold front moves across. In fact, we had such a nice warm front this morning. We saw temperatures as much as 20 degrees above where we were yesterday. We're sitting at 13 degrees above where we were yesterday in Tri-Cities, 15 in Pendleton, Hermiston, and in Walla Walla, 8 degrees warmer right now now than it was in Yakima a couple days ago. Here's that storm track. It's pretty massive. It's going to bring that cold front down from Canada. Those snow, uh, all that moisture will then change into snow and then that uh, system will just continue to pummel the area for the next 24 hours. Here's what it looks like moving down. We're expecting anywhere from one to two inches of snow per hour with six hour accumulations between eight and 16 inches. That's impressive. It moves down into Oregon. We're expecting one to two inches per hour, accumulating 10 to 20 inches in just six hours. And then it travels down into California, Sierra Nevada's. They could see up to two feet of snow. So it's very, uh, it's a very big storm, but mainly impacting those mountains. Down below, rain showers. That's what we're going to 
going to be dealing with over the most uh, most part. Here comes that cold front and there you see the transition into snow all down the Cascade Mountains. Cloudy and overcast in our region and uh, we'll start to see some of that moisture spill over into the lower elevations. Then as it hits the Blue Mountains, it will transition to snow showers there as well. Winter weather advisories in place for most of our mountains uh, through Thursday night. We'll continue to see unsettled weather moving through your Thursday and even into Friday we continue to see snow showers. Some of those could be impacting the I-84 corridor through the Columbia River Gorge as long as that uh, cold front continues to drop those temperatures. As you can see, very active weather right into Friday night. Let's talk about those winds. Wind advisory in place till tomorrow morning. It's been blustery all day in the Columbia Basin, the foothills of the Blues, and even in the Yakima Valley. We were seeing gusts earlier today at 60 miles an hour. We're still going to see those strong gusty winds even in the Columbia Basin as we move into Thursday. Thursday evening, still breezy, mainly along the foothills of the Blues, but we see some winds through the Hanford Reach area and we'll continue to see those winds on and off all day Friday. Things will start to finally cool down or calm down, I should say, Friday night into Saturday. Legends Casino Sky Camp, 59 degrees, overcast skies. Winds are blowing right now 23 miles an hour, so it is blustery. A little bit chilly, grab your coat. Let's look at those overnight lows in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley for tonight. 30s and 40s. Look at Clee Elum, quite a bit colder there, 30 degrees, and we'll continue to see those temperatures drop overnight. 39 in Yakima tonight, 41 in Sunnyside. Columbia Basin looking at temperatures also in the 40s, and we see the 30s and 40s at the foothills of the Blues. Tomorrow's daytime highs will be a full 10 degrees cooler than we were today. Still warmish in Hermiston at 57. We'll see 50 in Tri Cities, 49 for Yakima. Let's take a look at our seven day planners. We've got windy conditions and breezy winds continue through Friday. We'll start to calm down Friday afternoon, evening. Saturday, we have a slight chance of some showers in Hermiston. Not too bad. Take a note of those overnight lows getting chilly at night. That's why we could see some mixed precip. Uh, we're talking rain mix with snow Saturday, Sunday in Walla Walla. They could see maybe a half an inch of accumulation. Yakima, on the other hand, won't. We'll see some gusty winds and showers on and off tomorrow with those breezy winds. And in the Tri-Cities, we're going to see temperatures cooling off as well. But we do have a chance of that wintry mix on Saturday with these overnight lows getting down to that freezing level. More to come, including your travel forecast for the weekend on the way. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. And still ahead tonight, we're getting a glimpse of what could be coming to the region in the coming year with the State of the Ports lunch. That's next on Apple Valley News Now at 6. Your dream home starts at Floor and Home with Mohawk waterproof flooring made for life. You dream, we install. This is your forever floor. This month, get up to 50% off at your local Walla Walla or Richland Floor and Home. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Are you an experienced machinist? We have a job for you. Pasco Machine is hiring now. We offer generous wages, overtime, double time, full medical, paid holidays, and four-day work schedule. Apply online today at pascomachine.com. How does free college or training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant gives eligible people money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. Here are some frequently asked questions we get about Dial-A-Ride services. Is Dial-A-Ride going away? No, it is not. All Dial-A-Ride services to Tri-Cities, Benton City, and Prosser is exactly the same. Are drivers being laid off? No. If you qualify for Dial-A-Ride or want to find out if you qualify for Dial-A-Ride services, call 509-735-0160 or visit bft.org to learn more. It's Leap Year Savings. Today through February 29th at Walker's Furniture, where you can get the biggest savings of the year on the shortest month of the year or take advantage of no interest until 2028. This week at Walker's. For nourished, lightweight hair, the right ingredients make all the difference. New Herbal Essences Sulfate Free is now packed with plant-based ingredients your hair will love. Like pure aloe and camellia flower oil. And none of the things it won't. Hair feels deeply nourished, soft, and lightweight. 
plant power you can feel. New herbal essences, sulfate free. Coming up tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest, we announce our new winner of Volunteers Count. You don't want to miss it. Plus, the weather is changing again. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona lets us know what to expect. We hope to see you here early Thursday morning. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Your dream home starts at Floor and Home with Mohawk Waterproof Flooring Made for Life. You dream, we install, this is your forever floor. This month, get up to 50% off at your local Walla Walla or Richland Floor and Home. Today, the Red Lion in Pasco was packed as the community turned out to hear the state of the ports, including Pasco, Kennewick, and Benton. Leadership from all three gave the latest news and updates on projects and programs. The Port of Kennewick CEO says this luncheon is a chance to share with the community how the ports are working to improve quality of life and offer information on the economic impact that directly affects the areas in and around the Tri-Cities. He says the hope is that people who come here stay here and continue to help build a better future. Really what our port is about is uh, assisting the business environment in the Tri-Cities and also pr bringing in some of the amenities that make it a great place to live because you have to have a great place to live before you really get businesses wanting to stay or expand or relocate here. So both of them need to come together. Now one of the big projects that the Port of Kennewick is highlighting is progress on Vista Field, which will be a walkable new town center with shops, office space, restaurants, and living spaces. We're continuing to track developments there. We'll bring you updates as they happen. Now it is Wednesday and you know what that means. We're introducing you to a super mutt with a rock and roll name who needs a forever home. Operation Best Friend is coming up tonight at 6.30 on Apple Valley News Now. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. You work hard for your money, and now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid. With the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. Are you looking for a new car that's sporty, fun, practical, with great fuel efficiency? Check out the 2024 Kia Forte LXS at Overturb Kia and make a bold impression when you ride in style. Now, just $19,999. Plus, get 3.9% interest for up to 48 months. Take delivery today or reserve a car that's on its way. Shop online anytime at OverturpKia.com. Overturb Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Yeah. Use this app. Want to do it even faster? Here we go. Oh, wow. U.S. Cellular works great out here. Wow. Still have 5G here, too. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Hey, thanks for the lift. Test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network free for 30 days. Why buy a mattress from Mattress Depot USA? Low prices. Every day, we beat any competitor's price. Selection? All sizes and brands like Sealy, Stearns & Foster, Tempur-Pedic. Customer service. Our sleep specialists average 10 years in the industry. Check out our reviews. Comfort guarantee? 120 nights worth. Same day delivery. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Local? Born here, live here. Come see us today. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Tempur-Pedic designed the Ergo Pro Smart Base to help you fall asleep more easily. It's the only Smart Base that features our exclusive Soundscape mode that synchronizes a gentle massage with relaxing sounds to help you drift peacefully off to sleep. Get a free $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. 
Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. STCU and Apple Valley News now continue to honor volunteers by sharing their stories and awarding their charities $1,000 each. If you know someone in Benton and Franklin counties who's making a difference and taking that extra step to make our communities better, please tell us about them today. Woo! Just click on Volunteers Count on the Contest tab at applevalleynewsnow.com for the STCU Volunteers Count nomination form. Volunteers Count from STCU and Apple Valley News Now. Take advantage of the tax credits you can, including the annual Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. You can get money back on state taxes already paid. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 on your side. Welcome back. We hear it all the time. See something, say something. And that approach is credited with leading Kennewick police to an explosive device in a teenager's home. Now, that teen has now been arrested. Apple Valley News Now's Austin Reed has been tracking this developing news and joins us live in Kennewick. Austin, what have you learned? Hi there, once again, Alyssa. My photographer Lucy and I have been out here since around 4.30 at Southridge High School in Kennewick. And between our live reports, we have been speaking with staff. We've been speaking with students because there's a few people still inside the school here tonight for after school activities. I was talking to one staff member and she told me that she had been getting the texts throughout the day from Kennewick PD about this incident. Only Apple Valley News now has a video, scene video from the search warrant efforts. Let's go to that right now. Lucy was out there earlier. Now, according to the Kennewick Police Department, a school resource officer at Southridge said a concern a certain student reported another student may have access to an explosive device and one 17 year old boy was arrested at his home on suspicion of possession of that device. Now this is the video of the teen's home again. It is on the 1400 block of South Harrison Street in Kennewick. Now the school resource officer and Southridge staff began working on making sure the campus was clear and investigators with Kennewick PD went to the school to talk with the student directly. Authorities then called in the Richland Police Bomb Squad and a warrant was secured for the student's home on Harrison. Authorities say an explosive device indeed was found and bomb technicians were able to secure it. The 17 year old has been arrested today. Tonight, he's sitting inside the Benton Franklin County Detention Center. So good news. Nobody was hurt. There is no threat at this hour, but the investigation will continue. Police also tell me that this is all a good example of if you see something, say something. That's the latest reporting live for Apple Valley News now at 630. I'm Austin Reed, Alyssa. Thanks, Austin. Now let's talk about your forecast. It's a little chilly out there this evening. Stacy Lee is tracking that for us right now. It's chilly warm. It's chilly because of the wind, but we're going to focus on travel this weekend. We do have winter storm warnings in place. Cascade Mountains. This is through four o'clock on Thursday. Blowing snow right now. I'm just going to let you know it is raining in the mountains and we've received nearly or over three feet of snow in some areas in the Cascades. Now rain on top. That means Avalanche danger very high, so if you're going to recreate this weekend, stay in bounds. Gusty winds as well to deal with as we look over here to the Blue Mountains, blowing snow with 6 to 12 inches expected by tomorrow evening and winds there 60 miles an hour. You want to stay in bounds. Now, if you're going to be traveling, make sure you check that forecast, fill your gas tank, make sure your batteries are charged on that phone, have your emergency supply kit, avoid travel if you're just not comfortable in these kind of conditions, and if you are stranded, do remain in your vehicle and more more importantly, let someone know that you're headed there and when you expect to arrive so they can keep track of you. Here's the weekend forecast on the road. It's not looking <laughs> too nice in the Seattle area. We've got rain and thunder showers possible tomorrow. Rain mixed with snow on Friday. Saturday could see some rain mixed with snow, mainly in those overnight hours. If you're traveling to the Portland area, same thing. We're looking at some thunder showers developing possible there. We're looking at a 100% chance of mixed precip both Friday and Saturday in Portland. And if 
you're a little bit closer to home heading up to the Spokane area, look for rain mixed with snow there as well. So travel conditions could be treacherous this weekend. Plan ahead and just be wary and be ready for anything on those roads over the next couple of days. Stick around for my first alert full weather forecast. It's coming up. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. The United States Postal Service plans to invest $40 billion over the next 10 years to improve postal services across the country. Right now, they're reviewing their Yakima processing and distribution facility for some potential changes. But Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us that Yakima County Commissioners have sent a letter to the post office detailing serious concerns. Commissioners say they've already had issues with mail that's being sent from one Yakima address to another that actually ends up being taken out of the city to another processing facility, only to return days later. It's my understanding that the way your local processing facility is supposed to work is anything that comes through Yakima uh, first goes through a local sorting process. Pulling out mail addressed to Yakima zip codes. Everything else is shipped out to uh, Spokane or a larger a processing facility and then diverted from there. But he says their tracking shows some Yakima mail is still being sent across the state. Local checks are actually leaving the county, going to a larger uh, sorting center, sitting there for a few days, coming back, sitting in Yakima, and then just not getting out uh, to our, our stakeholders in a timely manner. They're concerned that USPS might decide to close the Yakima facility or transfer all processing operations to another city. But according to the U.S. Postal Service, this initial review, quote, will not result in the facility's closure or career employee layoffs. USPS officials say their plan is to invest four to six million dollars into the Yakima facility for modernization, deferred maintenance, and new processing automation equipment. However, they are considering transferring some mail processing operations to Spokane, saying, quote, this would mean a significant percentage of locally collected mail will travel across the wider USPS transportation and processing network over considerable distances to reach its final destination in a more efficient manner. Whatever decisions they make will impact us for the next 50 years and so it's important for us to make sure our, our voices are heard. U.S. Postal Service officials say they'll be responding directly to the county commissioners about the concerns they presented in their letter. But if you want to make your voice heard, you can submit comments online on the USPS website until March 14th. Reporting from the Agama Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Thanks, Emily. A 36-year-old SELA man who sold meth by the pound in Yakima Valley gets 11 and a half years in federal prison. That will be followed by five years of supervised release. Ronald Lee Ralston Jr. pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to distribute 500 grams or more of methamphetamine. Prosecutors say the FBI learned that Ralston and another man were distributing large amounts of meth and fentanyl from Ralston's home in Sela. The FBI set up a controlled buy at Ralston's house where an informant bought a pound of meth and 100 fentanyl pills. In June of 2023, when a search warrant was executed at Ralston's house, police found a total of two pounds of meth and other controlled substances, as well as three guns. Now, his co-conspirator is scheduled to be sentenced on March 12th. The Kitsap County Sheriff's Office is looking for someone reportedly pretending to be a law enforcement officer and pulling people over in a car very much like this one. The office put out a warning on social media after a woman said she was pulled over Saturday night near Port Orchard. The woman said she felt strange about the encounter, so she called 911. Authorities said if a real officer had pulled her over, there would have been a record of that traffic stop. They couldn't find one. After the social media warning went out, others said they had been stopped by a similar vehicle. In some cases, these things have been dangerous. There have been assaults associated with this. We haven't seen that happening, and we hope not to see it happen, and that's why we want to put a stop to it. So investigators say that first victim wasn't physically hurt, but she did hand over personal information to that fake officer. So if someone does try to pull you over in a remote area, you can put your hazard lights on and then drive very slowly to a populated or well-lit area before you stop. The Federal Aviation Administration says Boeing has 90 days to come up with a plan to address quality and safety issues. The plan has to lead to a measurable systemic shift in manufacturing quality control. This comes after a report released Monday of this week that found employees didn't understand their role in safety and they said they feared retaliation for raising safety-related concerns. 
That report recommended that Boeing address the issues within six months, but the FAA's new directive cuts that timeline in half down to three. Lawmakers in Congress are considering a proposal that would clear the way for pot shops to get bank accounts. Right now, businesses dealing with marijuana can't use traditional banks because the federal government considers cannabis an illegal drug. Washington Senator Maria Cantwell says there were more than 50 robbery attempts at marijuana stores in Washington last year, largely due to the all-cash operations. The Safer Banking Act would give banks the option of working with businesses within the marijuana industry if it's approved by Congress and signed by the President. Yakima Valley Partners Habitat for Humanity is celebrating its 40th anniversary of helping make home ownership more accessible in Yakima County with an event coming up tomorrow night. The organization started in Buena as the first Habitat for Humanity location in Washington State. They've been able to build more than 200 homes in the Yakima Valley for people who wouldn't have been able to afford it otherwise. Their efforts funded in part by profits from their thrift store on Mead. They also hold workshops to empower homeowners when it comes to financing and maintaining their homes. It's a look into the future. You know, if we, we know where we came from and we know what we've overcome in the last 40 years, so we know we can do that much more in the next 40. You can hear more about their history at the 40th anniversary kickoff event tomorrow from 5 until 7 p.m. That's at the Yakima Valley Museum. Tickets are $40 per person. It is a leap year, which means we do have one more day of February. We're experiencing warmer temperatures right now, but windy conditions make it feel pretty chilly out there. Stacey Lee is tracking the latest developments in your first alert forecast next on Apple Valley News Now at 630. Jessica Delore, Good Morning Northwest. Weekday mornings from 5 to 7. It's Markdown Madness now at Mattress Depot USA. Get slam dunk savings of up to 60% off. Beat the buzzer, these prices won't last long. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Time for a new roof? Let Eminent Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want in your yard. See, Alice, it's snowy and cold out here, but in Triple Play's toasty indoor water park, people are happy and warm. This? Is snow? Right, boy, she's never seen it! It's cold! And sticks to my feet! This stuff rules! Ah, look, she made a snow roy. That is clearly a snow stand. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including bowling, ropes course, and many more, all attached to a cozy hotel. Who is that? My Aunt Shirley. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Here are some frequently asked questions we get about Dial-A-Ride services. Is Dial-A-Ride going away? No, it is not. All Dial-A-Ride services to Tri-Cities, Benton City, and Prosser is exactly the same. Are drivers being laid off? No. If you qualify for Dial-A-Ride or want to find out if you qualify for Dial-A-Ride services, call 509-735-0160 or visit bft.org to learn more. People are switching to Spectrum Internet. We count on Spectrum Internet and the advanced Wi-Fi to always keep us connected and protected. It's so reliable and fast. Ever since we switched to Spectrum Internet, our daughter's curiosity has a new spark. Yes. Now we're saving a ton. Amazing. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month with advanced Wi-Fi, free modem, and free security suite for 12 months with no added taxes or fees. Save even more with our new two-year price guarantee when you level up to one gig. Call 1-833-977-4999 or scan to call. Call now. For nourished, lightweight hair, the right ingredients make all the difference. New Herbal Essences Sulfate Free is now packed with plant-based ingredients your hair will love. Like pure aloe and camellia flower oil. And none of the things it won't. Hair feels deeply nourished, soft, and lightweight. Plant power you can feel. New Herbal Essences Sulfate Free. 
An affordable, adjustable bed from Mattress Depot USA will help you sleep better. And help alleviate aches and pains, sleep apnea, and snoring. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Some sad news from Hollywood this evening. Comedian and actor Richard Lewis has died. He might be best remembered for his appearances on HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm, starring Larry David. He also appeared on The Tonight Show. According to his publicist, Lewis died at home on Tuesday following a heart attack. He was 76. Pope Francis is back at the Vatican after undergoing some diagnostic tests this morning. The Pope canceled several audiences on Monday because of mild flu symptoms. The Vatican says he went to a hospital in Rome today to have some testing done. The Pope is 86 years old and has been hospitalized three times in the past two years. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. Well, believe it or not, we had a warm front come through and we felt that and we're still feeling it tonight. We're 15 degrees above where we were yesterday at this time. Walla Walla, Pendleton, Hermiston, 10 degrees up at Hanford, 14 in Ellensburg. That's going to change. We do have a cold front moving in, but this warm front is why we're seeing so much rain even across the Cascades. We're starting to see some light snow, maybe at those really upper elevations, but across the pass level, we're seeing rain showers right now on top of feet of snow that had fallen. Let's take a look at the Blue Mountains and we're seeing the same situation there. That warm front still impacting all of the snow. Now this will start to transition overnight as those temperatures will begin to drop. Here's our storm track for tomorrow. It's pretty massive hitting all of the West Coast from uh, the top of Washington all the way through Oregon and even into the Sierra Nevadas and that will continue all day long Thursday into Thursday night. How much snow are we going to see? A lot. In fact, this first band here across the Washington Cascades, we're talking one to two inches of snow per hour with an accumulation of anywhere from eight to 16 inches in just six hours. As the storm moves to the south, Oregon Cascades, one to two inches for, uh, per hour there with accumulations of 10 to 20 inches in just six hours. And then it continues on south into the Sierra and Nevadas, and we could see one to three inches per hour. They're accumulating up to two feet of snow in just six hours. So that's a pretty massive storm. Let's take a look locally on our future cast. We'll see some scattered showers through the area. Again, that uh, warm air still prevalent, but after about two o'clock in the morning, the cold air starts to filter in and you'll see that across the Cascade Mountains. We'll see mostly rain showers here in the lower elevations. As we get into tomorrow, that cold front will take its grip over there in the Blue Mountains and we'll continue to see scattered shower. Lots of snow in the area for the next several days. We could even see some snow on the west side or rain mix with snow there as well. This is what it's looking like through your Friday morning. There's that snow right across the Cascade Mountains and the I-90 Snoqualmie Pass, Stevens Pass, White Pass, all going to be dealing with that and we'll continue to track more snow across the Blue Mountains. On top of that, add the gusty winds and we've been seeing those today. We're going to stay breezy to wind windy all night long. Some of those winds really picking up in the late night hours in Walla Walla and Pendleton staying windy here in the Columbia Basin Tri Cities. As we get into your Thursday evening, we still see those strong gusty winds really a strong through the gorge and right here along the foothills of the blues. As we get into your uh, early morning Friday, we'll start to see things calming down later in the evening. So that's what that looks like wind wise 59 on our Legends Casino Skycam winds right now 23 miles an hour. The good news is our feels like temp is still 59. Tonight we're going to be down into the 30s and 40s. Chilly in Clee Ellum, but staying warm overnight in Yakima on Sunnyside. And when I say warm, I mean above the freezing level. In the uh, Columbia Basin, 30s or mostly 40s, excuse me, 48 tonight. Tri-Cities, 42 in Hermiston. And Foothills of the Blues, 30s and 40s. Walla Walla, the warm spot at 43. Let's take a peek at our temperatures for tomorrow. We'll see some scattered showers. We're cooling down a full 10 degrees and those breezy winds will continue uh, through the day. Here's our seven day planning forecast. Look for windy, wet and breezy in the Hermiston area. As we get to Saturday, things will start to mellow out there and uh, temperatures uh, staying in the 40s and 50s into next week. Walla Walla has more active weather, especially this weekend where you could see some rain mixed with snow and possibly accumulations of a half an inch to an inch of snow won't stick around. However, in Yakima, breezy winds with a chance of rain showers there and it's going to be 
unsettled moving into next week. Tri-Cities got a windy day tomorrow with some breezy winds on Friday and a chance of rain mixed with snow as those temperatures drop down to that freezing level uh, between Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So active weather forecast still to come. All right, I've got your weather photo of the day that's coming up here in just a few minutes. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacey. And up next, we're going to introduce you to a pet who needs a loving home. Operation Best Friend is coming up on Apple Valley News Now at 630. You work hard for your money, and now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid. With the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. You need to ask for what you want. You got to walk in there like, I am that girl. I am that woman. That girl. That lady. Uh, feel right in the... So, all of us are here to talk about trading. Right now at US Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. I'll trade you my PB&J for that phone. No kid, you don't have to trade. See, $830 off any phone at US Cellular. No trade-in needed. You drive a hard bargain. Boom, chocolate milk. You don't have to trade. I'll take the chocolate milk. Okay. Get $830 off any phone. No trade-in needed. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roofing replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is a sign you'll want your yard. Want free college or career training? It's possible. Here are some frequently asked questions we get about Dial-A-Ride services. Is Dial-A-Ride going away? No, it is not. All Dial-A-Ride services to Tri-Cities, Benton City, and Prosser is exactly the same. Are drivers being laid off? No. If you qualify for Dial-A-Ride or want to find out if you qualify for Dial-A-Ride services, call 509-735-0160 or visit bft.org to learn more. It's Leap Year Savings. Today through February 29th at Walker's Furniture, where you can get the biggest savings of the year on the shortest month of the year or take advantage of no interest until 2028. This week at Walker's. Take advantage of the tax credits you can, including the annual Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. You can get money back on state taxes already paid. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. Want free college or career training? It's possible. Go to wagrant.org. It is Operation Best Friend. We're introducing you to pets who need forever homes. On Good Morning Northwest, we met Black Sabbath from the Tri-Cities Animal Shelter. We're told he is a super mutt. He's estimated to be just under two years old. They say he does great with the other dogs at the shelter and enjoys the walks, but maybe not great with kids. He does have a lot of puppy energy, so he does need some socialization and training for sure. Otherwise, he's just the bestest boy with permanent puppy dog eyes. He loved coming in the van with us this morning. He did really well. He jumped right in. He didn't cry or anything like that. He is neutered and up to date on his vaccinations. The adoption fee is $50. And if you adopt him, you'll also get a gift card to Paws Natural Pet Emporium. Now, all the unsettled weather this week has been creating some amazing cloud sculptures. We're showcasing one of your weather pictures next on Apple Valley News Now. We wondered, where do people do their banking? So, we asked. I bank at Hapo. <laughs> Hapo's my bank. I've been a member of Hapo since I was 10 years old, 60 years. I bank at Hapo Community Credit Union. I'm with Hapo. 
You're not just a number there. You know, you're treated really well. I feel like they're part of my community. It's easy, it's convenient, and I don't know, I just love the people there. I guess the question we should be asking is, where do you credit union? Join Hapo Community Credit Union today. Live a life of luxury at Legends Casino Hotel during our Lux Bucks giveaway. You could win up to $5,000 every Thursday or the big prize of ten dollars at a luxury item from Burberry, Toomey, Prada, Louis Vuitton, or Yves Saint Laurent. Ooh la la! Did I just speak French? Just use your Legends Rewards card to earn valuable entries for our Lux Bucks cash, purses, and luggage. Okay, so it's not a Rolls Royce or a Chateau in the Alps, but we're just a casino on top of this, so cut us some slack. And play Lux Bucks at Legends Casino Hotel every Thursday in March. Bath Fitter does showers? That's right. We offer a wide selection of beautiful and functional showers in all shapes and sizes. We can even convert your bath into a shower. How about that? With our seamless one-piece walls and hundreds of design options, you'll get a beautiful new shower to fit your needs, guaranteed for life. Bath Fitter's been around for 40 years, and we've been experts at showers for just as long. Get yours today. Bath Fitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. It's Markdown Madness, now at Mattress Depot USA. Get slam dunk savings on premium mattress sets. Like $99 for each piece on any size mattress. Or $5.99 for a king size Sealy plush mattress. Even a queen size Sealy plush mattress for $3.99. Beat the buzzer. With crazy prices like this, they won't last long. Get here before Markdown Madness ends March 31st. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and Replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and Replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. Here's to good mornings in America. Can you feel the love? <laughs> mornings that inspire. This is crazy. Start your day with Good Morning America's Ray of Sunshine. Wow. Because... You know what will make the morning better? A little ray of sunshine. Jessica Jalore. Good Morning Northwest. Weekday mornings from 5 to 7. Welcome back, Stacey. Right before the break, we took a sky cam. It said our current temperature was 59 degrees. Still 59. That's that warm front just hovering over the area, but that's going to change. We're going to have that cold front start to move in. Let's plan your day for tomorrow, though. Still nice and warm. Look at that 40s at eight, and we haven't <laughs> seen that in a while. We're going to be in the 50s or close to the 50s by midday. Now, take note of showers in the morning in Yakima, mid up to the midday in Tri Cities, and showers on and off throughout the day, Walla Walla, and those temperatures. The warm spot, of course, Tri Cities. He's at 54, <laughs> so not a bad looking forecast overall. But again, stay dry. If you are traveling, I've warned, warned, warned you. Yep. <laughs> You're going to want to check the pass report, particularly tomorrow all day long in any direction that you head out of the Columbia Basin, Tri-Cities area, or even Yakima. You'll want to check all those pass reports. All right, here's our weather photo of the day. Our friend Alan Rither, he likes to walk in the morning and mm -hmm. he gathers the most spectacular photos. <laughs> check out those clouds. That's really cool. Really cool photo. Thank you, Alan. Remember, uh, you can snap your photos on your walks or just in your day. If you think about it, snap it and submit your photo at Apple Valley News Now backslash photos. We have a new way to submit them. It's super easy. I'd love to see them and get them on the air. Always <laughs> so great to see what people are seeing as they're out on their walks. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Stacy, and thank you so much for watching. You can always find the latest on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. We're back tonight at 11.